Hi, I'm Adam, and this is my sister Ashley, and we've put together a key list of design mistakes you want to make sure you avoid when remodeling your kitchen. At our design consultation, we discuss what you like and dislike about your current kitchen and what you'd like to include in your new one. We also ask you detailed questions about how you live and work in your space so we can design your kitchen to best suit your lifestyle. But there are some things that every kitchen should have in order to function best, no matter your particular habits. And those areas are the ones that you want to make sure are designed correctly from the start. Absolutely. The first mistake you want to avoid is creating bottlenecks in the kitchen's floor plan. Every kitchen needs to have good traffic flow and adequate room for more than one person to move freely around the space. You never want any area of the kitchen to feel cramped or to restrict the movement of the people in it. We've seen so many dishwashers and refrigerators placed so that when the doors are open, there's no room to move around them. You want to make sure that you provide adequate circulation space, which is typically about 42 inches for aisles. On the other side of the coin, you also want to avoid wasting space that will lead to extra steps within your kitchen. Even though not every kitchen has to have the traditional work triangle between the sink, the stove, and the refrigerator, you do want to make sure that you plan to maximize efficiency and reduce the distance between the areas that you use most frequently. A few extra steps can really add up over time, so think about how you use each major appliance and what you need nearby in order to make it easy for you. For instance, include adequate counter space next to your refrigerator so you can set your groceries down nearby while you're unpacking them, and make sure you include space for a waste bin next to the sink too. You also want to think about the things you don't want in your work triangle, such as coffee or beverage stations. We like to design those areas separate for our clients so that when they're entertaining, their space can be kept clear. Next on our list is failing to include enough storage space. You want to make sure that you consider all of the storage needs for the standard kitchen. Uh, these include items like pots, utensils, plates, serving pieces, appliances, and, and food. <laughs> and then there's storage for all the things that end up in our kitchens. Uh, first aid items, kitchen linens, school supplies, you name it. And beyond giving yourself adequate storage space, you also want to make sure that your storage is accessible. While in the planning stage, take note of the things that you use on a daily basis. Inventory your small appliances and the other kitchen items and plan your storage accordingly. Be sure to use the latest innovations in kitchen storage from pull-out shelves and pantries to built-in spice racks next to your oven. There are mixer lift stations for baking and in-drawer USB charging stations for all of your electronics. The final big thing you want to avoid is inadequate lighting. Most people are familiar with the three categories of lighting. Uh, these include general lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting. We find that in kitchen design, task lighting is often the most overlooked area. Everyone loves to choose pretty pendants over the islands or chandeliers over kitchen tables, right? Uh, but making sure your kitchen is well lit beyond those fixtures is essential to the feel and function of the space. More work is done in the kitchen than in any room in the house, and inadequate lighting is a mistake that will haunt you once your kitchen is completed. This can easily be avoided by including under cabinet lighting and ample lighting from above. And don't forget to include a light over the sink too. Consider running those lights on different circuits so that you can choose between using them together or independently. A small decision that can have a huge impact on the atmosphere and usefulness of your kitchen. We hope these tips help you to avoid some kitchen remodeling regrets down the line. If your new kitchen is going to include an island, make sure you watch our video where we share our biggest mistakes to avoid in kitchen island design. Please drop your questions or your comments below. We would love to hear about your new plans for your kitchen.